Yo, what's up? Welcome to week 11, everybody, and welcome to Fantasy Football Today as the inactives are coming out right now, and Mark Andrews is playing today. That's cool. David Njoku is playing today. Mm, that's cool, but, you know, probably I would like to sit him uh, before, uh, you know, as this Bills game unfolds. It's not an easy matchup against the Bills. Oh, okay, you didn't come here to hear David Njoku advice. You came here to hear about what to do with Kyler Murray and Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and all that and I and cereal and whatever else we're talking about on today's show. So happy Sunday. Let's get a win. Let's get those lineups set. Let's introduce Chris Towers and Frank Stample. Frank, good morning. Any hesitation at all to start Mark Andrews? No, I have him in two of my leagues and I am starting him. So I look, even if he's slightly limited, I think Lamar Jackson is going to have to lean on Mark Andrews. We know obviously the talent, the upside. And I think if you have him, you have to play him. Uh, I understand there might be some hesitation, but I personally have him in two leagues and I'm starting him. So let's go. Chris, I am really struggling with Keenan Allen. Really struggling. I, the way, you know, remember the last time he played, he played about a half. Yep. And then they took him out. So you also have Mike Williams. Mike Williams, I, th I think we probably feel a little bit more secure with him, just the way they've been talking about it. But where are you on these two guys right now? Um, I'm, I'm freaking out. I hate it. Yeah, Keenan Allen is my wide receiver 21, I believe. Um, and Mike Williams is my wide receiver 17. So I do have a little bit more faith in Mike Williams. Obviously, his style of play lends him to being a little less predictable than Keenan Allen anyway. So, you know, there's some concern that he could play 95% of the snaps and have one catch for seven yards just because it's Mike, Mike Williams. You know, that yeah. happens. But... Uh, I feel better about him in terms of the injury than I do Keenan Allen. So uh, if I had to choose between the two of them, I would start him. But I would start both of them at this point. It does sound like both are going to play. Uh, Josh Palmer, more like in the wide receiver 40-ish range for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm good with both of them. How about you, Frank? You know, it, it's, it's a, a matchup that you just want to have as many pieces as possible in this game. Um, and you know, obviously the chiefs receiving core is a little depleted and the chargers getting healthy. Now you're hoping for a lot of points. So you want to start these guys, but you know, I'm deciding between Donovan people's Jones and Keenan Allen, and I'm going to go Keenan Allen because I have MVS just in case Keenan Allen doesn't play. I I'm more worried about him playing and being limited. Really. That's what yeah. I'm worried about. Cause you know, he was saying, I'd like to play. I want to play. We'll see what the coaches say. And all the reports seem to indicate that he's going to play, but they're going to test it out first. So what do you, uh, what do you suggest? I mostly agree with Chris that I don't think Keenan Allen is a must-start player this week, but given the game, the total, just like the implications of this game in general, the Chargers and the Chiefs, I'm leaning towards getting Keenan Allen in there. He's a high-end wide receiver three for me, so again, not a must-start, but I, I am obviously very intrigued by the, even if he's limited, I, I think like they're, they're going to be playing from behind, and uh, yeah, I, I think... You're probably going to want to get Keenan Allen in your lineups. High end wide receiver three, and I have Mike Williams at uh, wide receiver 14. So, he, again, these guys are downgraded from where they would normally be, but I think you're most likely going to get Mike Williams more so than Keenan Allen in your lineups this week. Yeah. If there were no concerns about the injuries, I, I think both would be top 12 guys this week, uh, given the matchup, yeah. given the bye weeks. So, Mike Williams for sure. Yeah. I think there's just a, enough of a downgrade that, like, I would start Cortland Sutton over both of them. I would probably start Tyler Boyd over both of them. I would start Rondell Moore over both of them. Um, but, you know, in terms of the quest, like the iffy guys, that's probably it. I guess Michael Pittman, I would start over both of them. Um, but that's not necessarily a knock on Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I just, I also really like the rest of those guys that I mentioned. I'm going to read your questions in just a little bit. we got to talk about Kenyon Drake here. Gus Edwards is inactive today, guys. He's not playing. Carolina allows the six most fantasy points to running backs. They allow 4.73 yards per carry to running backs. The last time we saw, uh, the last two times we saw Kenyon Drake without Gus Edwards, it was 10 carries for 119 yards and a touchdown at the Giants. I think Dobbins played in that game uh, and left with an injury, I think. I'll double check on that. But last week against the Saints, no Dobbins, no Edwards. Actually, it was two weeks ago, last game. 24 carries, 93 yards, two touchdowns. He also had two catches in that game. Um, so Carolina, like you look at them on paper, they look like, yeah, uh, Dobbins did play against the Giants that game. 
Um, you, they look like a bad, ma- a good matchup, but they're a little inconsistent. They had some very good performances against running backs. Remember, they got crushed by Joe Mixon. He scored five touchdowns, so that kind of hurts their averages. But um, yeah, like Kenyon Drake or Keenan Allen, uh, Chris, who would you start? And then Frank. In full PPR, it would be Keenan Allen. In non PPR, I think I'd be okay with Drake. And in half, I think I'd still go with Allen. Frank. Just probably unmute my mic. And I would go with uh, Kenyon Drake across the board. No Gus Edwards in this matchup. It is a really, really good matchup. And coming off a game with 26 touches the last time we saw Kenyon Drake. So, again, <laughs> I know I was just talking up Keenan Allen, and it's a great matchup. But uh, given the, the the opportunity, the upside for, for Kenyon Drake in this matchup, I would go with him. Hey, real quick, are we at this point expecting Marquise Brown to play? I'm not. No. It sounds like he only did individual drills during practice this week. Um, I know there was the one report that he has a chance to play this week, but there was also the quote from Cliff Kingsbury that he'll definitely be back after the bye, which doesn't necessarily end. And like, I don't know, he might play. Even if he does, I think he'd be limited. Yeah. So I, I, I think it's pretty unlikely. And then Kyler Murray, um, if you have Kyler Murray, like I'm starting Mariota over Murray. Yeah, I'm said, starting Heineke over Murray. Yeah. Now Heath recommended, you know, what we should drop Heineke and, and um, Mariota and pick up Colt McCoy and just play the starter for the Cardinals. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start Mariota. I think he's a lot more upside against the bears and what could be a high scoring game uh, than Colt McCoy. Yeah. I think like I have Colt McCoy in my rankings right now as my lowest ranked quarterback, but that's also because if you have to make a decision right now, you don't know if Mario or Murray or McCoy is going to play. Right. If it was a Cardinals quarterback, I think I would probably have them ranked in the like 13 ish range. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, well, it's you just there's like, not many good quarterbacks this you week. Could drop Jones. E or your, or your scrub quarterback and just pick up McCoy if you have Kyler Murray and just wait for. I guess you could do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh. All right, um, all right. Uh, just a few more inactives here, real quick. Uh, AJ Terrell, AJ Terrell, and Eric Harris, a couple of defensive backs for the Falcons. They're both active. The Eagles, they picked up two defensive tackles this week, and Dominican Sue and Linval Joseph. They're both active. Big news for the Bills: Jordan Poyer is playing. Uh, their star safety and Devontae Parker is active. This is all according to Ian Rappaport. Um, so let's read some questions. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Garrett Wilson or Darius Slayton? That's got to be Wilson, right? Garrett Wilson for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Wilson. Wilson. I'm starting him over Olave. What do you think, right or wrong? Wilson over Olave. I have Olave ranked a few spots higher, but it, it's close, and I don't think it's crazy. I mean, Garrett Wilson averaging over 100 yards his last two games. He went up over 100 yards his last time he faced the Patriots too. So they're featuring him. Might have to pass a little bit more in this game. I think the Patriots are going to try and stop the run. I- I'm good with it. Uh, Palmer or MVS if both Allen and Williams play? MVS. <laughs> yeah, I would go with MVS. I guess I'd go with MVS, yeah. Pick one in PPR, Deontay, Pollard, or Josh Palmer. We should talk about the Cowboys running backs. Tom Palacero this morning reported that Pollard's expected to be to get a few more touches, I think was the wording. I don't know if that means... You know, it'll be a 60-40 split or a 70-30 split. Ezekiel Elliott expected to be active. But I, gosh, I I continue to just like Deontay Johnson more than anybody else. Um, So I would probably go with, let me see. Yeah, I think I'd go with him over Pollard. But I would imagine I'm in the minority there. Yeah, I'd go go Pollard. Yeah, I would go with Pollard as well. I, I think he'd probably get something like 12 to 15 touches. Hopefully. I mean, I'll tell you this. Uh, the matchup like, is ridiculous. Um, the Vikings all season long, they've allowed 16 carries, 16 running back carries of 10 or more yards. That's the fifth fewest in football. They've allowed two running back carries all season of 20 plus yards. Tony Pollard himself has five carries of 20 plus <laughs> yards. And in their last four games, the Vikings are allowing 2.95 yards per carry to running backs. That's the Bears, the Dolphins. Let's see. I. Okay, I think it's the Dolphins, the Cardinals, the Commanders, and the Bills. 2.95 yards per carry. Oh, uh, no, five games. Five, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Uh, they've been great against the run. I'm still starting Pollard. I think he's good enough. I, you know, I think he's over four yards per carry. Give him 15 carries. He can get you 70 yards 
couple catches. I'm thinking 80 something total yards. Let's get in the end zone, Tony Pollard. Yay. All right. Pacheco or Curtis Samuel? Full PPR. The Pacheco full PPR questions drive me crazy. Oh, man. It's a really hard call. What do you think? Pacheco or Curtis Samuel PPR? I think I would go with Pacheco, but it's just because Curtis Samuel seems to kind of be getting phased out of the offense a little bit. Uh, I would say there there aren't a lot of viable players who I wouldn't start ahead of Isaiah Pacheco. I'm just not particularly interested in like it's the best case scenario was probably something like last week where okay the best case scenario would be he gets in the end zone a couple of times, but like that's true of every everyone right. Curtis Samuel could score a touchdown. You know it's not like the the Chiefs are producing so much value for their running backs that it's a, a can't miss opportunity. So I just, I don't know, running backs who don't catch passes and aren't guaranteed big workloads are are pretty meh for me. I would I would go with uh, Curtis Samuel here. Uh, Jacoby Myers, Tyler Boyd, Garrett Wilson. Who's your favorite? Half PPR. I've got Boyd just ahead of Wilson here. I'm, I think Wilson probably has more upside though. I would go with Myers. Oh wow! Interesting. Uh, I would go yeah. with I, I would go with Boyd also. Uh, Cordero Patterson or Tony Pollard? Ooh, I think that was like the line for me with Pollard. I think I moved him just ahead of Cordero. Yeah, uh, I yes, Pollard. I did. Yeah, I would go with Pollard. Clear, curious to see the snap count for Patterson because it's been about thirty-eight percent or something each of the last two games. Um, maybe you know, first game back, then you had a short week, maybe. He can boost it, but I'll go uh, power. Look, Zeke's playing with a knee brace in this game. He's got a short week next week, right? He's got the Thursday game against the Giants. Huge game. Um, I am. I, I mean, we haven't had a Zeke question yet, but there is like no way I'm starting him. I really could see him getting eight touches in this game or something like that. Just He's hurt and has a short week coming up. So that's my rationale for Pollard. Of course, I don't know. It's a, Oh, here's a Zeke question. I, I would go with Melvin Gordon over Zeke in PPR. I'd go with Zeke. I have Zeke just a few spots behind Melvin Gordon, but I could see the workload being similar to something like Melvin Gordon, like eight to 10, eight to 12 touches, something like that. And we know Zeke is not very explosive at this point in his career. So yeah. no, but give me the guy in the better offense. He yeah, is, but he's going to get more opportunities for a touchdown. Yeah, but Gordon has a much better matchup. I think he's a little sneaky this week. He has seven catches in his last two games and the Raiders give up the most receiving yards to running backs. And you've got a depleted receiving core so i mean non or half i could see going zeke but full i'm gonna go gordon but i i for, I'm, I'm not high on melvin gordon but i think compared to everyone else i'm probably like kind of high on melvin gordon but all right so wait it's gordon for me it's zeke for chris what'd you say frank it's gordon for me oh yeah mvs yeah. mvs um it's gonna work out just as well as it did the mvs <laughs> week <laughs> Uh, I, by the way, I told you guys before the show, I'm very excited about Donovan Peoples Jones. It's a homecoming game for him. He gets this unexpected, uh, trip to Detroit where he was born and raised. He played in Michigan and, uh, he's playing well. And I feel like they're gonna have to throw the ball quite a bit. Um, let's see, let me check Donovan Peoples Jones' start percentage. He's got 71 or more yards and five of his last six. I games. would guess it's under 50%. 30%. He's only rostered in 63%. Yep. His roster rate's been oh. so weirdly low. I don't understand it. I was going to start him over Keenan Allen, but I, I went against it because he hadn't scored a touchdown all year. Jordan Poyer back is a big deal, but uh, I don't know. Like Chris, I'm I'm just kind of feeling Donovan Peoples Jones. Who are you feeling this week? Who am I feeling this week? That's a, I don't know. If the, Rondale Moore is okay. a top 12 wide receiver for me, so I'm feeling Rondale Moore. Feel it. Frank, who are you feeling? I kind of like Paris Campbell. I, I have him just ahead of Donovan Peoples-Jones, but I think both are viable as wide receiver threes if you're missing someone out on the bye. I mean, what Paris Campbell has done the past three games that Matt Ryan has started, he's been ridiculous. So I, I, I feel all right getting him in my lineups. Paris Campbell is wide receiver 24 for me. I have him at 28, so I guess you're feeling him even a little Suck bit. Suck it. I'm so feeling so Paris Campbell. <laughs> uh all right, who we got here? Tony Lund. Oh, I'm also feeling Debo Samuel, 100 yards and two touchdowns, and Kyle Pitts, 70 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to make a DFS lineup right now. Am I feeling it? DFS lineup. Uh, Is Thielen going to be on it? Feeling, I am never feeling, feeling, or feeling, feeling. Is Blink 182 going to be on it? Uh, they have a song called Feeling. Feeling it, yeah. Feeling it. 
They're so childish, aren't they? I mean, come on. You're childish. <laughs> They're such goofballs. Let the guy with the good voice sing for once. Have you ever yeah. seen that that stand-up comedian talking about their song? Um, I miss you. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. It's They're spiders. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. It's so good. It's classic. Right, pick two of this group, guys. Pick two. Ooh, um. Sutton and Wilson ahead of Tony for me. London is way behind. Correct. I've changed my FanDuel password so many times I get locked out all the time. I locked out again? Jeez. <laughs> it's incredible. I can never remember my password. I'm going to have to change it again. We need to get to the point where every single password is just the face recognition thing on the phone because yes. I hate putting in. Any t- anytime I have to log into my bank without the fa- facial recognition, I have to reset my password. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. just. I just have. Uh, now, you know what? I'm not even going to reveal where I have my password. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that, but I do have a running list of passwords somewhere, and it's very annoying to keep checking it all the time. It's actually right behind you. Yes, right here on this map somewhere. It's uh, M A J O R L E A. Uh, okay, Gabe Davis or Kadarius Tony. Half PPR. So the thing that I'm pointing out with Kadarius Tony, and it's not look, it's not set in stone, right? He, his role could continue to grow. But last week, even in the second half of the game, after Juju Smith Schuster was out, Michael Hardman already wasn't playing. Kadarius Tony only played six of their 15 passing snaps. He was behind Justin Watson. He was behind Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Now, th- we think Kadarius Tony is just a much better player than those guys, so it wouldn't surprise me if he was the number one option, but I am I think he's a boomer bust wide receiver three, I would say, and that's the same thing with Gabe Davis. But Gabe Davis, we've seen, like, they're playing on turf. They're playing indoors. It's a good matchup. I, I think Gabe, Gabe Davis' is upside is higher. I agree, Chris. I have Gabe Davis. They're actually back to back for me. I have Gabe Davis at twenty four, and I have Kadarius Tony at wide receiver twenty five. I do yeah, there's a more. they're they're three players between them for me, so it's yeah. basically the same thing. I do think they're both boomer bust. Uh, I worry if the Bills get up big, you know, do they kind of take off the the pedal a little bit? Maybe they just like lean on Singletary at that point. But hopefully, we just get a bunch of points in that game, regardless. So I would go with Gabe Davis, but it is really close. Okay, I can't make a. DFS lineup with Debo Samuel. So um, that's, I can't do my feeling it team. Uh, is Allen or Fields actually a decision to make, or is it obviously Josh Allen? Josh Allen. Like it, it, it might be Justin Fields. He might end up outscoring Josh Allen again for the third straight game, probably, but I'm, there's no way I can sit Josh Allen. It's not completely ridiculous because I have Josh Allen as my QB1, I have Fields as my QB3. So. They're both top three quarterbacks, and it's a, yeah. an amazing problem to have, but I, I would go with Josh Allen. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll take a, a little pause from the questions in a bit just to kind of reset for um, – to kind of give you the big news. Pokemon reference here, and Wandale is active. Is Slayton a start still? I think Slayton's a wide receiver four for me. So I'm not I'm not super high on him now. I have him as a low end wide receiver three. So I, I could see a scenario where you're starting him. All right. Uh let's go to let's go to Ryan. Garrett Wilson, Tyler Boyd, or the Lions running backs. Uh oh, he needs a running back and a flex. PPR. I would go with Jamal Williams. Um I don't want to start DeAndre Swift as much as I love the player. It's just like the weirdest situation in football right now. So I'm just not going to start DeAndre Swift. And then as a flex, I would go with, I think I have Tyler Boyd ahead of Garrett Wilson. I would go with Wilson and Boyd. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, you need a running back. So I would go with Williams and Boyd. By the way, I just want to clarify, this is not a Braves jersey. I would never <laughs> yeah, wear no, a It's a very jersey. cool jersey. I always forget what it is. Puerto Rico? It's a yeah Puerto Rican team. Uh, Foreman or Jamal Williams, half PPR. Uh, I, I have Williams ranked ahead. Same. We don't have any concerns about DeAndre Hopkins playing, right? I wouldn't say zero concerns, but not enough that I'm sitting him where I've got him, even if I don't have alternatives on Monday night. Okay. Gibson or Swift, PPR? Gibson. 
Gibson. Yeah. All right, one more here real quick. Eli Mitchell, James Robinson, Daryl Henderson, or Kareem Hunt, PPR? Woo, I think I have Mitchell ranked the highest of this group. I do. Uh, Yes, I have Mitchell three spots ahead of James Robinson. I will say I'm not worried about the, like, thin air in Mexico City, which is uh, even higher elevation than Denver, but I do think there's a chance that we could see more of the backups rotating in. Just, you know, guys might have trouble... uh, you know, getting their getting their lungs acclimated. So I think it could benefit Elijah Mitchell slightly. Okay, I got my DFS lineup. DraftKings. Josh Allen, Ramondre He's Stevenson. He's good. Antonio Gibson. Gabe Davis. Garrett Wilson. Terry McLaurin. Kyle Pitts. Donovan Peoples Jones and the Saints. 100 k McLaurin's kind of like the opposite of feeling it for me where I just, I, I feel like there's going to be a letdown at some point. He's been good in what three of the four games the Heineke started. Yeah. And I just like, we saw a whole season of them last season and we know that McLaurin was a boomer bus wide receiver three. So I, I think there's going to be some letdown at some point, but he's still a top 18 wide receiver for me. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be this week. The Texans uh, the outside wide receivers basically crushed the Texans. Everyone else does not. Um, and they're playing without Derek Singley. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. I mean, I don't know how much worse, but it's worse. Um, okay, so uh, let's uh, let's welcome you all in here. If you're just joining us, please hit the like button. Let's see, we got 156 likes, uh, 250 likes before we get to our next question. We do have a YouTube poll. Actually, wait, we have to get to 250, not 250 more. So let's get to 250 likes. Let's just, you know, get that out of the way. Best Game Boy series of all time is today's poll. Zelda, Pokemon, Super Mario Land, or Metroid? Game Boy? Like the little, the old Game Boy thing? Am I missing? So, that? yeah. So, my que- so I need some clarification on the, uh, on the question. Let's get him One, in here. Come on, are we counting like the uh, Link's Awakening Game Boy port from, or was Link's Awakening just a Game Boy game? I'm trying to remember. Uh, no, that was a Game Boy game. Okay. So, but are we counting like, like Super Mario games that were ported to Game Boy or only Game Boy exclusives? Game Boy exclusives. Like you have to play it on the little thing unless you have the adapter that goes into... Like... Uh, then I think it's I think it's Pokemon. Uh, I have it's a, a question. It's a though. Maybe I don't know what a Game Boy is because when I was growing up, I was, before Thomas Schaefer was even born, like I was playing a Game Boy, a little gray thing this big, and I was playing... It, did yeah. they keep yeah. making new ones of those? Oh, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They, they had Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, no, I never, Advance, never SDS. Well, the Mario games are always the one. 3DS. Which, Adam, you're not that much older than me, honestly. What, eight <laughs> years? That's not that crazy. That is, that's enough where when I was like eight, I was playing them. You know, you were zero. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I don't you know? know? Uh, what I were you know playing the then on the Game Boy? I was playing Mario. I was playing a lot of Super Mario. Okay. That's the only game I really remember playing. Uh, I mean, Tetris. I played a lot of Tetris. Oh, yeah, but Tetris. No, I, I've probably logged more Pokemon hours on the Game Boy than, than any other. Right, well, I'm voting for, for I'm voting for Super so, Mario. Adam, you never played Pokemon. I've never played Pokemon, no. Wow. Oh, my God. That hurts my soul. I've, catched, I've caught none. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, usually those trends, like, come, like, full circle, and then your kids will start playing it. You just missed out on that. Like if yeah. your kids one day play, they're, you're not going to even know what it is. After I graduated college, I barely played video games. Uh, I played a lot of Guitar Hero when I was in my 20s, but that that was that was pretty much it. Guitar Hero, no Pokemon. I don't know about that. I play a lot more video <laughs> games now than I did when I was a kid. I will say, I can't wait for my kids to get into video games. I'm like fired up to get back into it. All right, uh, let's let's go through some of the headlines here. For anybody just joining us, how many how many likes do we have here? We got 235. Come on, now I'm setting it a bar higher. Let's get to 300. Jimmy and I are going to fight. Frank Frank and I are going to fight Jimmy. Oh god. Actually, that's that's fine. I was a I was a geek. That's fine. I did get into a fight on the bus in middle school cuz someone deleted my Pokémon Blue uh save game. Oh, that like, is Legitimately got into a fight over it. You that is someone? That is cause for Yeah. Me. One thousand percent. Yeah, he took my Game Boy and deleted my game. What was I supposed to do? Who does that? Wow, it was such a it was such a jerk move. I can't remember his name, but 
I hope insane. I hope bad things are happening to him still to this oh day. Oh my god! All right, uh, so we're going to talk about some of the headlines here: Deontay Johnson or Keenan Allen? You guys have Keenan Allen ahead of Deontay. I, do, I have Deontay one spot ahead. I know Chris loves Deontay, but I, I would start Keenan Allen. If I'm feeling De- Deontay, I'm feeling a big game from Deontay. Okay. What do you get if you take the I and the E out of Deontay? Don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that question is basically how you're approaching the Chargers wide receivers. Chris said he had Mike Williams as wide receiver 17, Keenan Allen as wide receiver 21. I'm a little hesitant on Keenan Allen. I'd love to have a backup plan. I'd love to have MVS or – I mean, Tony, you're going to start most likely, but MVS or maybe maybe Josh Palmer, something like that, uh, or like Brandon Ayuk if he's kind of a flexy wide receiver for you. Uh, because I'm just a little worried about how much Keenan Allen's going to play. I want to see what the pregame reports are. He's not even a certainty that he's going to play, but he probably will play. In terms of Kenyon Drake, Frank, you seem to be pretty high on Kenyon Drake. Yeah, the last time we saw Kenyon Drake play without Gus Edwards, he had 26 touches in that game going up against the Carolina Panthers today as a huge favorite. I do have Kenyon Drake as my RB16. He's just ahead of Jamal Williams, Tony Pollard, Devin Singletary. So I am pretty excited and uh, happy to get him in my lineup. I, I would I would call Kenyon Drake a must-start running back this week. Mark Andrews is a must-start tight end. Uh, we're not expecting Marquise Brown to play, so you can go ahead and start Rondell Moore as if Marquise Brown was not going to play. Kyler Murray, we don't know. You could back up. You could roster Colt McCoy. He's not the worst. I'm starting Mariota over Kyler Murray. I don't want to go the McCoy route. I, honestly, if Kyler Murray plays, I'm not all that optimistic about him this week. You know, with a hamstring injury against probably a good defense. I'm just a little hesitant, but you know, if you know, whatever. We don't know he's going to play in this Monday night. And that's really oh Zeke, Zeke and Pollard. We're we're not super interested interested in Zeke. Where do you guys have Tony Pollard? I have Pollard at RB18, so he's part of a group that includes Devin Singletary, Antonio Gibson, Miles Sanders. So, you know, it's starting to get a little bit iffy at the running back position at that point, but he is behind Montgomery, Kenyon Drake, Jamal Williams for me. He's just behind Miles Sanders for me at like RB15. Um, So ahead of Singletary, Antonio Gibson, Najee Harris, Jamal Williams, guys who probably need a touchdown to be good i think pollard can be good without a touchdown how about uh david montgomery frank said montgomery ahead of pollard chris how about you montgomery ahead of pollard for sure he's a top 12 running back for me here's uh, a yeah go ahead here's a trivia question how many players and how many times has there been 20 carries by a baltimore ravens player since lamar jackson became the starting quarterback huh you could probably count it on two hands, I would say. No, oh, oh, one hand. One 20 hand? carry game? Yep. Three. Three players have done it. Okay. Lamar Jackson has done it three times. Gus Edwards has done it three times. Kenyon Drake did it once. Okay, so my answer would have been four, because I thought you meant just the running backs. Yep. Well, I, my answer was three. There, to me, I, so it's been four running backs have done it. Yep. Including Drake and their last. Four running back games, but only Edwards and Drake have done it. Yeah. Sorry, four running back games, yeah. And Drake has the high at 24. Which is to say that there have been situations where they've had a clear lead running back and not gotten a ton of work. I, well, 20 I'm expecting high, high bar. Right, right, right. But I'm I'm expecting more like 15-ish for Kenny Drake, even with Gus Edwards out. Yeah, that's that's fair. Hopefully he gets a couple catches. Um, all right. Uh I asked my friend, how would you rank the Weird Al movie on a scale of one to ten? And he said, it felt like a long skit, maybe a six. What do you guys think? I know you've seen it, right? I loved it. Is Adam Sandler uh, in that one? <laughs> I didn't know. The Weird Al movie? Come on, you saw it, right? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it? Oh. Adam, I don't know how you don't know this by now, but I don't really watch movies. <laughs> but even Weird, I thought you loved Weird Al. Is that not you? No, no. I think that's I like, love Weird Al. Scott White is big on uh, Weird Al. All right. It, I recommend it, but it was a it was a pretty like kind of bad it's, funny movie. It's so good. I don't not like him. I just yeah, I don't, it's brilliant. I don't yeah, do that. Anything, so. All right, Pollard or Miles Sanders? I think you guys actually just answered that. But. I have Sanders one spot ahead of Pollard. I would go with Pollard. So Adam, break the tie. I would go with my goodness, that is tough. Pollard, Pollard, uh, Ramondre or Saint Brown? Ooh, I hate these. 
Yeah, I would I'm... go with St. Brown in full PPR, Ramondre and half or none. I think that's the right answer, yeah. Fine. Connor, Foreman, or Montgomery, PPR? Montgomery. I would yeah. go with Connor. I have him one spot higher than Montgomery. I, I have know. Montgomery one spot higher than Connor. I was about to say Jordan Montgomery. It's not based on the season yet. <laughs> uh, hope all is well. Thank you. Boyd, Rondell Moore, Brob, pick two, half PPR. Uh, Rondell Moore for me. And Love and Tyler Boyd. Yep. I would go with and the, the wide receiver. Like, well. Brob had like the absolute best case scenario game last week, and it was wow. what, 14 points? Like this you can't like you can't game. script a better outcome for Brian Robinson. What and about he this had week? What 83 about yards and a touchdown. Yeah, but Are, is he gonna run more than 26 times? Probably not. Probably, but, like, but this, this mean, is the problem with his skill set. He doesn't catch passes, so it's like, yeah, if 80 yards is a great outcome, and if he gets in the end zone, he'll be an RB2, and if he gets in the end zone twice, maybe he'll be an RB1. Jawan Johnson or Conklin or Gerald Everett, who's questionable? Um, I would just go with Conklin. What's our weather situation this week? I think I would go with I think I have cold. Juwan Johnson, the it highest of that group. Freaking cold, huh? I'm going to check out my boy Kevin Roth. I think there's a lot of wind in MetLife. There's like 20 plus mile per hour winds. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Maybe it'll blow Zach Wilson's passes on target. <laughs> well, he's not in MetLife. He's in Foxborough. Oh. Well, well yeah, there yeah, goes my there. joke then. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, but MetLife is Daniel Jones versus Jared Goff, but it's you know it's St. Brown, it's Slayton. Um, yeah, there is yeah, St. Brown. It, I don't worry about it. Slayton is enough of an iffy play that that could be enough to sit him. But I, he's like wide receiver forty one for me, so it it doesn't really enter the equation. All right, so the guy I follow is Kevin Roth of Roto Grinders. He is at Kevin Roth WX. And his report has three games with a yellow tag. He has red, green, and yellow. Um, you know, green is, yeah, no problem. Yellow is the Jets at the Patriots. Winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, sustained with stronger gusts uh, and very cold. Carolina at Baltimore, gusts up to 20. Sustained winds around 15, gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Giants and, and Lions. Um, winds here likely to come somewhere in between New England and Baltimore. A uh, bit over 15 miles per hour to start, near 15 for most of the game, tapering off late. Um, so that's interesting. A lot of could be a lot of running. Uh, you know, it could be good for Kenyon Drake. Uh, could be, yeah, theoretically, yeah. Another reason to get away from DJ Moore if you want to do that. All right, what do we got here? Smash that like button. Give me three receivers and a oh no, a th number three receiver and a flex. Keenan Allen for sure. Uh, yeah, I would go with Keenan Allen and... I'd go with Keenan Allen and more. The full PPR thing, again, with Pacheco. Like, just don't expect any targets or catches for him, but I'm pretty worried about DJ Moore, so I, I would go with Pacheco. Okay. By the way, uh, just to get this out there, how do you guys feel about DJ Chark this week? Because it is a tough wide receiver week. Um, I would like to see him. I, I think there's some upside there, but I'm not starting him. Yeah, I picked him up in one of my deeper leagues. Just kind of want to see what happens today for DJ Chark. But I, I think there was enough waiver wire wide receivers yeah. where you probably don't need to start him, where you could go with like a Paris Campbell or Donovan Peoples-Jones or even like a Darius Slayton over DJ Chark. All right, who are you going with? Cordaro Patterson, Adam Thielen, or Michael Pittman? Pitman. Uh, yeah, probably Pitman. Pitman. <laughs> there you go, Frank. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to scroll down and get some fresh comments here. Aloha. Rondell Moore, Thielen, Gibson, Zeke. We need one in half PPR. Rondell Moore. Over Gibson? Over Gibson. Both of them, so very much. Yeah, I would go with Moore as well. All right. Hopkins Moore's Pittman. on like an 1100 yard, hundred catch pace over his past six games. And that includes the game where he was playing primarily outside and in, in Deandre Hopkins first game. And he only had one catch. So he's been awesome. Hopkins Pittman, Tony pick two. 
Hopkins. Hopkins and Pittman. And Pittman. Pokemon, by the way, is leading the poll. 594 it votes. It's a lot of votes. If you if you opened it up to like the full Nintendo ecosystem, I think then you have a really tough call between Zelda and Mario. But if it's just the Game Boy uh, systems, I think it's clearly Pokemon. The original Zelda on original Nintendo, I can probably make it about two minutes before I die. I, I, I suck at that game. It's so hard. I've so never hard. really played like Zelda is a kind of a blind spot for me. Uh, Breath of the Wild is my favorite game ever. And I've played like two of the other games. I, I, I but like Breath of the Wild is so good that it's I, I'm already willing to put it in the top game series. This you never played Punch Out or any of the Mario's or yeah, I, yeah, I played those games. But like I, the problem was I, I'm I played a lot of those like played Mario when I was a kid, but then like Punch Out and Tech Mobile, I've mostly like tried to play as an adult, and they're bad. Oh no, they're good. Like when you like when you've played like actually good video games with like real no, technology, like they're they're just not that much fun. Those ones I think hold up. A lot of the other ones I didn't. Mega yeah. Man Two also holds up very well. Mega Man Two is a great. Yeah, game. tech like the Metroid games, early Metroid games still hold up because the mechanics are very similar. But Tecmo, like I could just play like a real football game. Let's go. Let's make a bet, Chris. I'm taking Homecoming, <laughs> Homecoming King Donovan Peoples Jones over Deontay Johnson. I'll take Deontay. Yeah. What are, what are we betting? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I loser has that. to loser has to buy the winner lunch. We'll figure yeah. something out. Maybe we meet up, or maybe we. You just no, let's up the ante. It's lunch. Lunch is ten dollars. Loser has to buy Hill Country Barbecue. Sure, let's do it. Let's I was going to say, loser has to buy the other one. Pokemon, come on, man. Oh, <laughs> Stay on theme. <laughs> All right, I'll go with People's Jones. Chris, going the other. How about you? I'm going with People's Jones. Yeah, oh, MVS. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you guys do this MVS thing. <laughs> When he had like, did he have one catch that week? I don't know. I don't know. But it was just like every week Adam would show up, and he's like, "I got to start MVS again this week." I'm like, "What are you doing? Why are you starting MVS?" I I want to say that was week six when he had zero catches. I don't know if that's true. Week that he went off, he did have three catches for 111 yards in week seven. He followed that up with one catch for 12 yards. Yeah, maybe it was the week that he scored two touchdowns, but then he actually didn't score two touchdowns. That sounds about right. I don't remember. Najoku or Henderson? That's a flex question. PPR? Huh. Ugh, Ugh. Gross. That's a good one. I, I think I would chance it with Njoku. Playing from behind. Probably got to pass a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Connor or Jamal Williams? Standard Connor. scoring. Yeah, non-PPR does make it a little closer, but I would still go with Connor. Yeah, I have Connor as a borderline top 12 running back this week, and it's not mm-hmm. because I think he's great or anything, but his workload is just massive right now. So. Yep. It's, it looked like what it did last week, last year when he was the like RB5 for like a six-game stretch. Mooney or Ayuk? Uh, I like I th- both a lot, but I would go with Ayuk. Ayuk. I have Mooney three spots higher. All right. Uh, pick two, Curtis Samuel, Josh Palmer, or Rondale Moore? This is from Germany. Samuel and Moore. Samuel and Moore, yeah. That is correct. Paris Campbell, Darius Slayton, Tyler Higby, Brandon Cooks. I know who I got. My takes might be a little controversial, but I, I feel good about mine. I would go with Campbell, and it's down to either Cooks or Higby, and I don't feel good about either one. I think I would go Higby. I, yeah, I think I like that too. Campbell and Higby. Hey, not controversial at all. Actually, I'm feeling Higby. If I weren't feeling Pitts so much, I'd start Higby in my DFS lineups. I just, like, I think he's not that good. And I always struggle with these situations where, like, there's so much opportunity for a receiver. But, like, it's not like running back, you know? Like, running back, you can just say, well, I don't think this player's that good, but if he's going to get 15 touches, you know, you you only have to hand the ball to them. You don't have to throw it to them. They don't have to get open. Tyler Higby has to get open. You know, like that. That's... He ran. He, he he ran. Okay, he played 34 snaps with Cup on the field last week, and he ran 16 routes. He played 14 snaps with Cup off the field, and he ran 10 routes. And he had four of his eight catches with Cup off the field. So the only problem with that is they were trailing, and they had mm-hmm. to throw a lot. So it could have been that, but I just think he's 
I think he could be their leading receiver rest of the season, like very easily. Um, and you're right. He's not that good, but yeah, I, I do think you're looking at potentially 10 targets for Higby. I, he's going to, yeah. I personally feel like I like to see it happen once before I make this declaration, but my guess is he's going to become one of those must start tight ends where we really don't even ask starter sit. He's going to be one of the six or seven guys that you don't even think about taking out of your lineup basically. But yeah. We'll it, it, I, I can't exactly argue against it. I just like, the first five games he had, he averaged 9.6 targets per game and 12.4 PPR points per game, which, Hey, you'll take that. That's right, a must exactly, start. Exactly. Exactly. It's just, I, yeah, the part, the thing for me is just, I don't know if he's good. Well, I, I'm pretty confident that he's not like great. So yeah, he's fine. Yeah. That, that makes it tough. The saints also give up the fewest fantasy points to tight end. So if you want to go with cooks, we we'll give you reason to do it, but at least you're definitely starting Paris Campbell. And we all said Higby, but I think Cooks, Cooks has there. very little going for him himself yeah. at this point. So, Tony or Deontay? I'm going with uh, Deontay. I would go with Tony. Speaking of Tony and Tony the Tiger, Frost Tony. Place, I told Frank to try Golden Grams. He said he was going to. He did not try Golden Grams. It is very disappointing. I'm but, sorry. Uh, I do apologize. You th- try him on Thursday. You should have Golden Grams for dinner. Okay, yeah, that that sounds like you know. I'll just throw some turkey in there, maybe some yeah. you know sweet potatoes and. You know. Oh, you have plants on Thursday. Oh, uh, yeah. some football, yeah. you know. This is a good time to tell all you all of you we're not going to have our normal stream on Thursday afternoon. Uh, Garrett Wilson or Mike Williams? Ooh. Oh, I would go with Williams. One spot ahead. I have Mike Williams like four or five spots ahead. So yeah, I'm good with that. What is that picture? Is that Welcome Back Cotter or something? Seems like it. Could be. I don't. I. I can't say I've ever seen an episode of Welcome Back Cotter. Yeah, I've watched a lot of old TV, but not not Welcome Back Cotter. Wait, Adam, did you say you haven't seen it either? Even though you used to play the song on the podcast. I know the song. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that song. I love that. that. Was one of my favorite bits. Yeah. The Joku or Komet? Uh, I would go with Cole Komet. Pittman or Sutton? I would go with Njoku, by the way. And yeah, then I would go with uh, ooh, Pittman versus Sutton. I have Pittman ahead. Oh, man. I would go with Corlin Sutton. So, all right, Adam. You got to answer these. Yeah, Sorry, oh, he's going to agree with Frank, obviously. I got yeah. Sutton. I met Chris oh, the Bills are so good against tight ends. I, I just can't, I just can't uh, get on board there now. Poyer is back as well. Um, yeah, I'll go with Sutton. I, I think he's so good. He's playing great. Quarterback rocks, MBS. Uh, so Sutton, obviously. Now, Pittman has a ton of upside. He can get you one of those 120 yard games, but it's kind of hard to ignore. 58, 50. Uh, here, he's had what six games with fewer than 60 yards? That's crazy. Two of them were with uh, other guy, Ellinger, but still. All right, here's a tougher one. Higby or Komet at PPR and PPR. I would go with Komet or uh, Higby. Sorry, I would go Komet. Don't make me choose. Uh, but if I had to choose, I would probably go with Higby. Komet. I just love the Falcons matchup. That's the thing. The, the thing with Komet is like it. it's just touchdowns right now. Like he's been okay, but it's really just because he scored five touchdowns in three games, which we know you can't predict. We well, had a big catch last week. Right, but it still ended up like what sixty yards, something like that total. Wow, uh, some, yeah, something like that. I know the passing volume is not big for the Bears, but it's a twenty nine percent target share the past two weeks for Cole Komet. Okay, Najee Harris, Pacheco, or DJ Moore. Uh, people... I have Najee ranked the highest of this group, but I don't feel good about it. Oh, Najee versus Pacheco, probably really close. Yeah, I have Najee one spot higher. Pitts or Komet. I'm going with Pitts. I would go with Komet. Aren't you kind of hoping for the same thing out of both? Just whoever scores a touchdown, and right now it seems more likely that Komet. Pitts has 24 targets in his last three games. He's got like 400 air yards in that span. Now, obviously, his actual yards are like 80. Um, But I just, I think there's a similar floor for both of them, which is like zero catches. But I think Pitts' upside is much higher. Okay. Um, see you later, Chris. How about uh, 
Battle of the middle of the pack. Garrett Wilson, Jacoby Meyer, Slayton, Carter, Campbell. Pick two. Ooh, scoring really matters here. I would go with the top two. Same game. Patriots and Jets. Even though we do have some weather there. Uh, Garrett Wilson getting used a little bit more. Jacoby Myers has just been so consistent. Even though the Jets are really good against wide receivers, I believe he scored a touchdown against them the last time they played. So I'd go with uh, Myers and Wilson. Chris with the shortest bathroom break ever. Is Cooper- no, my, my wife just came home and I had I had kept the door open to my office because nobody was home and I've got two cats and a dog and I didn't want to just like leave them out there. But now she came home so I could close the door. Uh, is Cooper Cup droppable? Uh, six to eight weeks was the report that we got this morning. So yeah, that, that would be the best case scenario is a week 17 return. I, yeah. I think you can drop or I want week 16 that. technically, but yeah, I think you can drop them. If you don't have an IR spot, I, I think you can, but you probably should play with at least one IR spot at this point. Un- unless you're like first place, just because you don't want to have the situation where you play Cooper cup in the championship game. Sure. Uh, I Schaefer, we got 1,200 people in here. We got 346 likes. Can we give away some Paramount Plus today? All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we get to 500 likes. We're going to give away a month of Paramount Plus. So please hit that like button. We're at 350. There are a lot of great things on Paramount Plus. You can watch all of the Jackass movies on Paramount Plus. <laughs> watch Beavis and Butthead movie. You can also watch, like, I think Yellowstone is on there. Yeah. 1886 or whatever it's called is on there. The prequel to Yellowstone. Uh, great documentaries on there. Great movies. So Paramount Plus is awesome. Paw Patrol is on there. That's great, too, for the kids. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, we we get to 500 likes. We will give a free month away of Paramount Plus. Tony Pollard or Cordero Patterson? I would go with Pollard. Correct. Full, full PPR, Debo, Pierce, Sutton, and then Pitts or Dulcich? I believe I have Debo just ahead of uh, Sutton. Yeah, I do. So I'd go Debo in full PPR over Pierce. You would start Debo over Damian Pierce as well, Chris? Oh, actually, uh, in full PPR. Nope, let's go with let's go with Pierce. Yeah, I would go with Pierce and then I would use Dulcich. I would go with Dulcich over Pitts. I hate it. And this is Mike. This is his dating profile. Desperate and dead inside. One, <laughs> <laughs> one running back, one wide receiver, and a flex. Half PPR. Pollard, Deontay, Drake, Sutton, Runner. Rah, 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 rah. I would go uh, with one, uh, Pollard. Three. Go ahead, Chris. I would go Pollard, Rondale, and Sutton. I would go Drake, Sutton, Rondale, and... (laughs) (laughs) All right, we got Soso Mesa. Uh, The full PPR flex. Najee, Tony Pitts. Tony. Uh, I think it's super close, but I would probably go with Tony, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Hit that like button, people. We're at 413. We need to get to 500. There's 1,200 people in here. Just hit the like button. We'll give you away. Uh, we'll give away a, a free month of Paramount Plus. By the way, people are like, "Hey, Giants fan, does it kill you to see Kadarius Tony doing that? Like what? To see him be wide open at like the five yard line and tiptoe and the yeah, like, I could have done that. The other catch he made down the field was spectacular." I'm rooting for him. I hope he has a great career. Uh, this is uh, a good place for him to be. Chris, By the way, would, Justin Jefferson has turf toe. He's going ooh. to play through it, but that's uh, that's not a nothing injury for sure. That is a pretty concerning injury. It wouldn't shock me if he was a little disappointed in the next few weeks. Oh, yeah, all right. Mike Williams, Deontay Johnson, or Mike Williams? Pick two. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Mike Williams and Deontay Johnson. I would start both Mike Williams. Personally. What if there were two Mike Williams? Like I would feel better about Mike Williams having a good game if there were two of them because he's so hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, hashtag kitchen toothbrush. Yeah, I brushed my teeth in the kitchen sink. This was established on the mailbag show. But we got um, a handyman had to come and fix our kitchen sink on Saturday. Because of all the toothpaste. Yeah, because I... 
I was, it was out of commission for a, for a whole day. So I had to brush my teeth in the bathroom in the normal sink like a normal person. Wait, why do you do that all the time? Or is this just like a all the time, recent yeah. thing? Why? Well, since I was displaced from my bedroom because of uh, construction, basically. You don't have to reveal any details that you don't want to, Adam. No, no. I, I, I saw it on the mailbag show. My son's room had mold. He sleeps in our bed. There's no room in the bed. I sleep on the couch for the last four months. It sucks. So I brush my teeth in the kitchen sink. All right. It's a really great way to live. Uh, but I would pick Tony and Moore. I would go with Moore and Pittman. Moore and Pittman. I would go Pittman in full PPR. But in half PPR, I'll go Tony. But I know you guys don't agree, and that's fine. Uh, you got to go Justin Herbert here. In fact, Justin Herbert, let's make this the start of something special for Justin Herbert. His next yep. five games or so are just, you salivate the match. And he's got and actual he's receivers now. Right. Van Jefferson or Brandon Cooks? I would go with Cooks. I don't feel great about it. Don't love either, but I would go with Cooks. It is a great matchup for what it's worth, so hopefully oh, you can take advantage. I'm afraid we may have given Shannon bad advice. I remember last week she said she needed to beat her husband. She lost. I don't know if we gave <laughs> bad advice, but she lost. Uh, she needs a wide receiver and a flex here, and who do you guys like? Oh, this is really hard. Uh, Damian Pierce over Swift. That's easy. But yeah, Pierce over good. Swift, and then I'm going with Rondell Moore and Cortland Sutton. I will do the same exact thing. Sutton and Rondell Moore. Even Gabe Davis on the... Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Rondell Moore right now is the model of consistency. But if I told you Gabe Davis was at Detroit, wouldn't you want to start him? Uh, I mean, Cleveland's a pretty bad offense or defense in and of themselves, but I, yeah. I would still go with Sutton and Moore. All right. Gabe Davis will be at Detroit in, in just a few days, actually. they play Are they home. staying? Are they just hanging out? No, they're going home. Really? Uh, yeah, they are. Choose two. First, ooh, actually, it's um, tough. Right, Tony, easy. Tony and Collins. Correct. If you do MVS and Tony, though, wouldn't you be surprised if one of them did not have a big game? Are you almost guaranteeing yourself a big game if you go with the two Chiefs guys? No. <laughs> did both of them have a good? Did one of them have a huge game last week? Well, I. Uh, Tony had a very good game. He had 15 20, points. 20, that's 20. fine. But that's not like a huge game. Okay, I shouldn't have said huge. Um, a, a, a 15 to 16 point, you know, you know what I'm mean? Like, how could, how could one of them not give you 15 points? It could certainly happen. It could be a bunch of right, Like Tony could have been an inch to the right and stepped out of bounds and had four catches for 56 yards. Yeah. yeah. And then neither of them would have had a big game last week. Who is your Monday night DeAndre Hopkins replacement if he's out? Rondell Moore is not. <sighs> I would say if you have a flex spot and just super desperate, I would pick up Trey McBride. What about AJ Green? No, 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 no. I think you're hoping for a touchdown from either, but McBride probably going to play a lot more snaps. Um, assuming Mitchell's not available in your league. Yeah. Um, that Yeah, I think McBride would probably be the way to go. Although, what's Marquise Brown's roster rate? Oh, I think it's very high, but okay. not a bad call. Uh, smash that like. I agree. Did we get to 500? 465. Come on, we can get to 500. We're giving away Paramount Plus months. Dak Prescott or Justin Hurt? Great question here. I think I'm going to just go with Dak. What do you I've gone think? back and forth on this one a couple times, but I've got Dak ranked higher. Uh, I'm on a lonely island. Justin Herbert, one spot higher. Chris, would you say you've gone Dak and forth? Sure. Yeah, you could say that. Okay. I thought you were going to make a Lonely Island reference. No. Yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, Chris is probably going to break out into song and dance. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Frank, would you if say... If you've never seen it, Popstar is uh, phenomenal. Frank, would you say you are on a boat? I'm on a boat! Yeah, there you go. John says, do you realize you are the best pregame show on social media? Is how many are there? Are we the only game in town? Literally hundreds, really? thousands, and we're the best. Oh, cool! Thank best. you, John. I appreciate it. The best Should around. Beat... Yeah, there you go. Should we beat the way? Have you seen Karate Kid? I know you like Cobra Kai, but you've come seen... on, Adam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Should McKinnon beat the waiver wire? Yeah, I don't think so. 
I think he's a viable RB three this week. Um, it's just, it's going to be interesting to see if like, was Clyde Edwards Elair last week, just a one week thing where he only played four snaps. If not, then I think I still want to just avoid that backfield if I can. Okay. Um, and it didn't sound like when the chiefs coaches talked about it, it didn't sound like they benched <laughs> Clyde Edwards Elair. It wasn't like we hate him and we think he's terrible. It was like a, Oh, it was just a game plan thing. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Camara, Drake, Damian Harris, pick two. Oh, you're sitting Harris, Evie. Yeah. Correct. Heineke or Mariota? I'm going Heineke. I would go with Mariota. Me too. Kittle or Hurst? Kittle. Correct. Best matchup in fantasy for George Kittle. Um, Brian Robinson or Pacheco? <laughs> it's a there's some funny people in the chat today. Brian Robinson or Pacheco, PPR. <laughs> uh, I have Brian Robinson a few spots higher. Uh, yeah. Mold or cockroach, half PPR. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> it's been a rough year. I mean, what a mess my house is. Unbelievable. Um, can you play the Pitman theme again? Or, there we go. Can you? He really likes the Pitman theme. Um, I'm not going to do that unless it's just happens organically. <laughs> but I will right. search for Pitman. I was going to say. Are there any other mans? Bateman's not a thing anymore. Uh, I'm having trouble clicking here. I, I can't get rid of that. There we can't we even do Miko Hardman. He's on IR. The Hardman's out. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, so here's the here's the issue here, guys. Chris, I don't know. You, you tell me. Every time I click on a question, it takes like five seconds to pop up. I I got one. No, got it's one working for me. Deontay Foreman. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Kittle or DJ Moore in the flex? I, oh, boy. I think I would go with Kittle. I go with Kittle. 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 We got yeah, that's likes. fine. Is that true? It is true. All right. Woo. Comment your Twitter handle. As long as Twitter still exists by the end of the day, Thomas Schaefer, our producer, will get back to you and give someone a free month. If we get to 700 likes, we'll give away another free month of Paramount+. Plus. All right, pick two in full PPR, Rondale Moore or Ron Rondale Rooster? Paris? Candle? Is that? No. Oh, Paris. Okay, that's the Paris, Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And Campbell Soup. Campbell like Soup, that. okay. Why well, don't get the Rondale thing, though? Yeah, Rooster. I got, um, I'm going with Rondale and uh, uh, wait, there's Paris and Campbell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is another one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Pick two of this group Gabe Davis, Tyler Boyd, Sutton, or Tony. I can assure you these are four different people. Um, Tyler Boyd and Cortland Sutton. Correct. Yeah. Leaving uh, a lot um, of upside on the bench. We need half PPR, two wide receivers, and a flex. Whew. I would go with Allen and Devontae and Paris Campbell. Not Deontay Foreman? No. Nope. I would go with Devontae, Keenan Allen, and Foreman. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going with a... Uh, Four man. I love it. A a running back who doesn't catch passes in a game where his team is projected to lose by 12. Here's the YouTube name that makes me uncomfortable every time. DJ Moore or Brian Robinson? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Brian Robinson. I know Chris is going to go with DJ Moore. I get it. Um, in PPR, I'll go Moore. Non-PPR, I'll go Brian Robinson. Half I PPR, I'll go Brian Robinson. I would just use Brian Robinson regardless. You messed up and played Lazard Thursday. No, you didn't mess up. Aaron Rodgers messed up. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers messed up. Uh, uh, two flex spots in PPR. Damian Pierce, Gabe Davis, Mike Williams, Kadarius Tony. Pierce and Williams. I would go with the same. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Rondale, oh. Chicken Rooster, whatever that is. Tony. I'm going with Rondale and Paris. I would go with... I'm going Tony over Campbell. Rondale and Tony. 
I'm really excited about the waiver wire wide receivers already. Christian Watson came through. I think, you know, I think all these guys are going to be good. Fingers crossed. Not, I'm not thinking Slayton's going to be that good, but, uh, try to try to trade Christian Watson this week. I'm not sure I agree with that. You should. I, well, look, I mean, obviously he's played like a wide receiver one the last two weeks, but I think he's going to be worth starting. I just, I don't know. Maybe he's just Aaron Rodgers' new full-time go-to favorite red zone option, but like that was Alan Lazard more than two weeks ago. Like just two weeks ago, we thought that about Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard's still getting the targets. Like Christian Watson had what, four targets this week? Five targets? Oh, no, no. He had like eight targets, I think. Did he? Six. He had six. Six. He had six catches? Six targets? Yeah. yeah. I just, I don't know. It was like a 17% target share. I just, I yeah, feel like he's going to be faster. pretty boomer bust moving forward. And like, I don't know. I'd rather have, like, if I could get De- Devontae Smith for him, I would do that. I would do that too. Um, yeah. But I would rather have him than. I think he's going to be in the wide receiver three something. discussion. Uh, all right. Speaking of which, Pittman, we got an opportunity here. Fingers on the button. Pittman or Sutton, rest of season, PPR. Yeah, rest of season, Pittman. And actually this week, Pittman. Pittman. I would take Pittman rest of season, but uh, Sutton this week. Okay. Uh, Boyd or Devontae Smith? Boyd. Correct. Half PPR, Flex, Slayton, McKenzie, or Najoku? Mm. All right, you made me say Slayton. Yeah, Slayton. Yeah, I would go Slayton. Cowboys or Broncos this week? Broncos. Broncos. Uh, all right, quarterback, stay with Kyler Murray and get McCoy or go with Goff or Mariota? I'm going with Mariota. I am making this very decision. I have Mariota. I'd go with Goff. I would go with Mariota. Hollywood, Hollywood Brown will not play on Monday Night Football according to the score. Hopes to play next week. Interesting. Non-PPR, Connor or, Do- or Donovan Peoples-Jones? I'm going Connor. I would do the same thing. Yeah. Hunt or Thielen and Najoku or Morrow. Thielen. And mm. ooh. Yeah, I'd go with Thielen yep. and Najoku. Yeah. Same. Okay. Uh-oh. Fingers on the button here, guys. Pittman, Sutton, DPJ, Slayton, Komet. Need two. Sutton and... Yep. Pittman. Correct. All right. Oh, we did that one. We let's check the likes. Five hundred and thirty-one likes. Also, let's check the poll. Eight hundred and twenty-three votes. Like we have more votes than likes. If you can hit the vote button, you can hit the like button. Forty-two percent Pokemon. Super Mario Land has moved into second place at thirty percent. Zelda twenty-two percent, and Metroid is just a dreadful option at six percent. We get to 700 likes. We will give away another month of Paramount Plus. Who do you like this week? Carr against the Broncos or Heineke? Oh, what's up, Rob Thomas? Carr or Heineke? Or Heineke? I'd go Carr. I would go with Heineke. I would go with Heineke. But, like, Adam, you should play some Metroid. Metroid's really good. What is Metroid? I To me, I'm thinking it's... The, it's, it's the lady, robot, soldier lady... Who turns into a ball and shoots like space worms? Never got into it for some reason. Oh, I don't know why. Really good. I mean, the description doesn't sound good. It's kind of like the Golden Grams of Nintendo. I just <laughs> haven't tried it. It's uh, um, well, you should. It's a side scrolling platformer. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, Cooper, first Cooper question I've seen. Cooper, Rondale, Schultz, or Tony? And a terrific question from Jamie Is Cooper on the road this week? <laughs> I that that's it's so weird because like 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 ser- does he not sleep well like that I'm I'm tr- like I'm because this is like a serious thing for his whole career he's like thirty percent more productive at home than on the yeah. road over the course of Las uh, Oakland I don't think he ever played in Las Vegas right no I don't think so Oakland Dallas and now Cleveland um I've got Rondell Moore and Amari Cooper ranked highest of these th- of this group yeah. I have the same, but uh, yeah, it is weird. I, I guess technically this is a road game, right, in Detroit, but playing 
<laughs> Likely from behind, big underdogs on turf inside of a dome. I, I, I still like it, so I have them inside my top 20. All right, shaving with a garden hose. That was another funny one from yesterday's show. Pick two, Tyler Algier, Latavius Murray, Devontae Parker, Ty, uh, Terrace Marshall. Ugh, gross. Ugh. I would go with Murray and Marshall. I'm starting two of these guys in the same league, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's bad this week. I'm starting Parker and Marshall, but I would start Murray and Parker. I think Murray and Marshall for me. I, I might have to. I'm looking at my Terrace Marshall lineup, you know, and you got a, you got a bad wind. You've got a Ravens defense playing great. You got Baker Mayfield, and it's just like, my God, could I find anyone else? But it would have to be Ben Skoranek. And I guess I'll just. Yikes. Yeah, it's that bad. I guess I'll just tough it out with Terrace Marshall. Uh, we need a flex and full PPR. Devontae Smith, Curtis. Oh, Devontae, right? Yeah. yeah. That's Correct. pretty close with Curtis Samuel, but I'd go Devontae. Should you hold Gus Edwards with him out or pick up a lottery ticket? Hmm. I mean, what kind of lottery ticket are we talking about here? Like, the kind of wide receiver running backs who are available aren't, I don't know. I, I would think, drop it. And I, I, uh, I was going to say, no. Gus kind of is a lottery ticket. Yeah, like when he him. plays, he should be. But good. it's like one of those like $100,000 lotteries, you know? Not like a, it's not like a mega ball. Yeah. You know, it's like even if Gus Edwards manages to get healthy and plays well, you're probably looking like an RB2 in PPR. Like, I don't think he's ever going to be a guy that's like, no doubt about it, you start him every single week. So I think he's a fine lottery ticket, but yeah. Like, I wouldn't turn down $100,000. I don't know that there's a Powerball winner type lottery ticket available right now. If there is, it's someone that we can't, like, it's it's Isaiah Spiller or or right. someone who needs an injury. James Cook, I feel like, yeah, is very good. Elijah Mitchell, if you picked him up this week. Oh, Elijah if, Mitchell. Yeah. If Jalen Warren or Elijah Mitchell are out there. Yeah. Right. Um, by the way, I don't know if you guys do White Elephant, but it's very fun, and Lotto Tickets is a great White Elephant gift. Uh, so I recommend it. If you don't do White Elephant, look it up and do it at Christmas or any holiday. Wait, you mean Yankee Swap? What's that? <laughs> From The Office? Don't remember that. Am I saying it right? Do I got it right? Yeah, it's Yankee Swap. Yankee swap right? yeah. yeah, it's Yankee Swap. What the hell is it? It's Yan where you 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 pick, and you go around the room, and everybody picks a gift, and then you yeah. either can choose the gift that the person just got, or take your own gift. No, or take a new gift. You take a gift that's already been opened. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you want to go last, so you can, so you can have the right to pick any gift, basically. I want the video iPod. Remember video iPods? Jeez. Oh, yeah. I had one of those. <laughs> Mike I, had the, I had the U2 like branded red video iPod. Cool. Was... Yeah. Um, my, I kind of stole mine from work, actually, uh, way back in the day. <laughs> oh, I am reporting you to HR. They gave me one. A different company, sort of. Uh, they gave me one, and I just never gave it back. I don't think they ever wanted it back. Mike Williams or Tyler Boyd? Let's move on uh, from your workplace theft. Tyler Boyd. <laughs> I would go with Mike Williams. Once that thing goes obsolete, they're not going to ask for it back. All right, please don't judge me. DJ Moore, Jalen Warren, or Paris Campbell? Uh, I'm you. starting Paris Campbell. You look like a nice person, Mark. Yeah. All right, start two. Foreman, to wait a second. Debo and I think I'd go Tony. Yeah, full PPR, I would sit Foreman here. Foreman. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let me get scroll down, get some freshies here. Patterson, Montgomery is a good one, or Drake. Uh, no, you guys are gonna say Montgomery. Yep. Yeah, Correct. I'd go Montgomery, Patterson, Drake. I would go Monty, Drake, Patterson. Actually, I do have Drake one spot higher than Patterson. Sorry, I lied. I'm a liar. I don't mean to be mean, but I'm really hoping that the David Montgomery era is is about over. Uh, this hopefully the last year in in Chicago. I just I find I, I I'm I'm old enough to remember when like Mike Davis got like three carries on one drive ahead of David Montgomery and the entire fantasy world was shrieking for uh Matt Nagy to be fired. And now like 
we got like one good season out of Montgomery and we're done. We just we have gotten six good games out of Montgomery. I just I find it funny. I just find it funny. Nothing funny about it at all. He's just he's just a running back. Like I just I I think he's I think most running backs aren't that good. He's not that good. He's he, right. He's not that and good. And you and you have an opportunity with Justin Fields to put a running back in that offense that could be awesome. And yeah, I hope. I, I will just say, Khalil Herbert. By the way, I I think it's probably not Khalil Herbert. Probably not. Saying. They'll probably invest a little more heavily in it. Yeah. But it ain't David Montgomery. I think it could be Herbert though. Like, I think there's a chance Khalil Herbert is a exceptional running back. Olave or Debo and Pitts or Fryermuth. I would go with Olave. Olave? Muth. And, and I would go with Muth. Yeah, I'm going to go with Debo. I just, first, I'm a little down on Olave. And uh, really, it's Dalton. And, uh, you know, feel, kind of feeling a bounce back for Debo. Regression is going to come in a big way. All uh, right. Um, Pittman or, or Hopkins? I'm going with Hopkins. Yeah, me too. Correct. Garrett Wilson or Rondell Moore from ugh, what a game Friday night. Bunch of losers right from the start. I mean, just <laughs> the recipe to lose a game. Just not even try. Pathetic. Adam, Adam, Adam. Come on. Five game West Coast trip. They're in Golden State. They I know. The previous two games. Give them play a break. hard. Just play hard. Yeah. For God's sake. The effort, the inconsistent effort is, is annoying. But uh, I would go with Rondell Moore. If that's DJ Moore, I would go with Garrett Wilson. Yeah, I would go with Rondale, Garrett Wilson, DJ Moore. I have a theory about playing hard in the NBA. It, the bad teams are the ones who are like, well, we just didn't play hard enough. Because every team over the course of a season, right, there's some games where they don't play hard. But the good ones, they can get away with it. The Knicks, but the, the Knicks can't afford to do that because they, they are not as talented as other right. teams. They have to play hard every game. Uh, start a Cardinals quarterback or one of those three? I would go with a Cardinals quarterback. Yeah, I'm fine with the Cardinals quarterback. Cole Komet, Gabe Davis, Pittman, or Jacoby Myers? For me, it's... Gabe Davis. Oh, yeah. Gabe Davis. Pittman for me. <laughs> uh, three guys, three different answers. I would use Jacoby Myers. All right. Do you all think Hopkins is good to go? All right, let me see. Is there any update on him? I just think he's going to play. Yeah, I mean, he... He didn't practice on Thursday. He was limited Friday and Saturday, but Cliff Kingsbury said it was maintenance. So I'm assuming he's going to play. Yeah. All right. He's going to play. Let's we'll just, if we're wrong, they were the ship. We're all going down together on the Hopkins ship. We're getting nuked. Pacheco, Swift, Slayton, and Robinson. I would go with Swift and Pacheco. I would go with Pacheco, and I don't really want to be the Allen Robinson guy, but I just kind of have a feeling that he might be all right, so I would go with Allen Robinson. What do you get when you combine Tyler Higby and Cooper Cup? You get Tyler Hupp, and his question, A.J. Brown or Ramondre Stevenson? Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, full PBR. I think it's Ramondre, yeah. No, no, it's it's Brown. I'm going Ramondre. I would go with the bounce back game. Who are you going with, Frank? Ramondre. Yeah, MVS. <sighs> Damn. Uh, for the win, I need two standard scoring: Pittman, Cooks, Rondell Moore, and Pickens. So for everyone else, we were telling them who we would start to lose. But since this guy specified that he's going for the win, yeah. I would go with Pittman and Rondell Moore. Correct. Okay. Um, Jamal Williams, James Connor, Donovan Peoples Jones, Kadarius Tony. We need just one of these guys in full PPR. Connor. Cool. Does it bother Correct. anyone that that he has he's facing arguably the best run defense in football? Not too much, no. I I don't really care much about matchup when someone is getting a workload as crazy as James Connor is getting right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Komet or Najoku? I'm going Najoku. I would go Komet. Yeah. I mean, I totally get all your fears about Komet, Chris. I, I want to drop him in one league, but I feel like everyone will make fun of me for doing it, so I'm not going to do it. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty it, good it probably wouldn't be the first time he got dropped in that league, right? 
No, definitely not. I picked him up last week. And yeah, it, like I, I just, I don't know. He's got 13 targets over the last two games. He had two or three in the game before that. Like, you got to really like Azer stat it to make him look good. You know, well, if he keeps getting five, six targets, then he could be all right. But right, right. But that's still a low end tight end. Like five to six targets is, I mean, he might just keep scoring on half of his targets, but he's probably not going to. Not going to drop him. It's a little extreme, but I'm considering it. Najoku or Dulcich? Uh, I'm going with Najoku. I would go with uh, Dulcich. It's kind of a pits thing for Dulcich where the usage has been really good, but the production just hasn't been there. Olave or Tony? Olave. Oh, 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 Olave. Swift or (laughs) Foreman. Let's go with him, right? Foreman? Yeah. I have Swift one spot higher. Oh, and what spot is that in your rankings? 26 versus 27. I just, I don't know. Maybe the Panthers will be able to hang with them, but they're 13. They're the biggest underdogs on the slate, I think. And, uh, he just doesn't catch any passes. So like I just I could see it being like a nine carry, no catch game for him. Yeah. I have Foreman at RB twenty two and Swift at RB twenty nine. So Foreman's definitely the kind of must start player that concerns me the most this week. Uh maybe there's one I'm forgetting, but yeah, I'm very nervous about him. Uh just time of possession. You're talking about Ravens are one of the best. The card the Panthers have the worst time of possession in the NFL. The Ravens see the third fewest running back carries. So Foreman's not a not a slam dunk, but he's just been so good that if they can just stay competitive, he should be he yep. should be good. All right. The only time he was bad recently was the 35 0 at halftime game. Um oh let's check our likes real quick here as we get into our grand finale. We're at 612. We still have time to get to 700 likes. We're gonna give away a Paramount Plus month. So let's do it. Uh, Mike Williams or Tony Pollard was a question that I missed. Mike Williams or Tony Pollard? I would go with Pollard. Ooh, man, that is close. Uh, I think I would go with Pollard as well. How about that one on the screen? I'd go with DJ Moore. I would go with Brian Robinson. Justin Fields or Justin Herbert? Fields. Fields. Uh, Fields or Allen? Allen. Correct. Keenan Allen, Amonra St. Brown, Cordero Patterson. Who are you sitting in half PPR? Oh, boy. I would sit Keenan Allen. Yeah, I'm fine with sitting Keenan Allen. I'm sitting Keenan Allen for Garrett Wilson. I think Patterson's safer, but I think Allen has more upside. Am I really doing that? I'm really doing that. What was it? I'm sitting Keenan Allen for Garrett Wilson and Cortland Sutton. Yeah, I think that's fine. I would do both of those. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Well, now I feel better. Thank you, guys. This is reassuring now that I'm on the other side of that. Uh, Alan Robinson, Kadarius, Tony, or Foreman? Format matters. Um, yeah, I'm going Tony. I would go with Foreman in non-PPR, Tony in half or full. All right. How about pick two of these guys? Deontay, Garrett Wilson, Thielen, and Tyler Boyd. Boyd and Wilson for me. Correct. Boyd and Wilson for me. Would you guys start James Robinson or Elijah Mitchell? Mm-hmm. That's pretty close. But I, I told my wife to go with Mitchell. I think yeah, I have I Mitchell, Mitchell a few spots higher, yeah. Um. Okay. Foreman or Cordero Patterson, half PPR. Ooh. Uh, Cordero for me. I have Foreman one spot higher. Super close. Oh, Melvin Gordon or DeAndre Swift? I'd go with Swift. I would go with Swift too. How about Pitts or Hurst and then sit one of those three? Pitts hmm. and I would sit the Brob. Yep, I would sit the Brob as well. <laughs> Brob. Okay, how about Oh yeah, let's get that let's get to 700, 636. Come on, we can do this people. Um, Mitchell, James Connor, Gibson. Who are you sitting here? I am sitting. I'm sitting Mitchell. Mitchell. Yep. What's up guys. I need one. Jamal Williams, Paris Campbell, Deontay Foreman, Darius Slayton, hit the like button full PPR. Who are we going with? 
Man, need I really one. like Paul Williams' matchup. Yeah. But he, he, he's he probably going to get – average is like one catch. I hate PPR. I'm starting to really resent it. Yeah, the Jamal Williams questions in full PPR, it's, it's kind of like how we were talking about Pacheco earlier. He's just not going to catch passes. You need him to get in the end zone, but – on a weekly basis, is there a running back more likely to score than Jamal Williams? I mean, he has the most carries in football inside the five yard line. I think he's tied with yeah. maybe with Jalen Hurst or something like that. But I, you know what? I'm going to go with Paris Campbell. I would go with Paris Campbell here. I would, I, I'll stick with Jamal Williams. All right. Um, Montgomery, Tony or Drake, and best sitcom of all time 30 Rock. And I would go with Montgomery. I would go with Montgomery and. I hard disagree on 30 Rock. Great, great sitcom, but it's not the best. Okay. I mean, I feel like you got to say Seinfeld, but. You don't have to. I would rather watch Friends. Be your own person. Oh, my God. I, no, you know what? I think The Office is the best, honestly. I, Seinfeld is the best, but The Office is the most enjoyable. I think Parks and Rec just slightly passed The Office for me. Oh, worst take. Stop. The office has yeah. the office has like multiple down seasons, which is not something that you can say of Parks and Rec and Thirty Rock, in my opinion. I think Seinfeld probably has a couple. Oh, but... Parks and Rec's first and last season. Okay, so Parks and Rec's first season. The first season's bad. Doesn't count. But like the Office's awful. first season isn't great either. Uh, it's much better than Park. Much better than Parks and Rec's. All right. Does, does, <laughs> does Fresh Prince of Bel Air count? Because <laughs> yeah, I'd sure. like to throw it in the hat. Uh, Stevenson, Keenan Allen, Patterson, Garrett Wilson. Who are you starting here? Stevenson. Stevenson. Uh, correct. I like this question here. Let's get let's get deep. Who you guys oh, like boy. in this group? I'm going Parker. Um, I think I would. Is Parker playing? Yeah. I think I would just take the shot on the best offense and just throw Justin Watson in there. I think I'd go with Watson. Yeah. Better offense than the Patriots. All right. Um. <laughs> MVS or Rondell Rondell Moore? Yep. Will I Jason mean, Jefferson's snaps be be limited? We don't think it's so. possible. Yeah, we're not approaching it that way. You but know what? It's possible. It's one of those things where, like, maybe he doesn't play all the snaps, but whenever they pass, he's just on the field. Yeah, I mean, every week I crap on um, Adam Thielen. Maybe he has a better week, but I'm not quite quite good there yet. All right, I've missed my lineup deadline, so that's great. Um, I think we should be okay. Pick one, Zeke, Brian Robinson, or Ayuk? <sighs> Ayuk and... Anyone ever I'm fine with Ayuk. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, I've, got, I've got Zeke one spot ahead of Ayuk in my flex rankings, though. So, Adam, do you know what game that's from, or are you just saying it? Of course I know what game that's from. I mean, the guy who didn't play Pokemon, I don't know. Come on, that's Street Fighter, right? Yeah, it's Street Fighter. Uh, come on, it's Tekken. I thought you were gonna. Say <laughs> no, it's it's Street Fighter. I, Schaefer liked that joke. I saw it. Um, all right, a uh, couple more here: Michael Carter, Jacoby Myers, Myers. Yep. Um, Swift or Pacheco? PPR. I would go Swift. I would go with Pacheco. Uh, how about last one? Last one. Um, sorry, I'm looking for a good one here. A lot of these are a little obvious. Start Sutton over Van Jefferson. And uh, no, not that one. Not fine. DeAndre Carter or Chris Moore? I'll go with Chris Moore. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if Keenan Allen and Mike Williams play, I, I don't know if DeAndre Carter sees the field. Yeah. Uh, half PPR, Brob, Devontae Smith, Paris Campbell, Deontay Johnson. I would go with Deontay Johnson. I would oh, no, you wouldn't. You'd go with Devontae Smith. No, nope, I would go with Deontay Johnson. Don't, really? don't tell me what I would I or wouldn't you, do. I thought you said Smith earlier. Okay. <laughs> I, I would go with Smith. God. All right. My, Presumptuous. My bad. My bad. All right. Thanks, everybody. We were pre Oh, did we get to 700? Comment your Twitter handle. We got the 657. Let's go. Comment your Twitter Round handle. Up. We'll hook you up with uh, Paramount Plus month subscription. One person's going to get it. So a big thank you to everybody for joining us today. Really appreciate it. If you don't see you before next week, have a great Thanksgiving. But join us tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern for a recap of the Sunday action. And let's go get a W in week 11. Remember, comment your Twitter handle right now. And I will just leave this one up as we 
say goodbye. See you later, everybody.